we were invited by uh, Jack Warner. He said that uh, he was very concerned that he believed that after all of his years in Trinidad and Tobago football, he had nothing that he could regard as his legacy. And what he had in mind was that um, some sort of school should be built or an education establishment should be built. And I said uh, immediately that, uh, in my view, the proposition was out of the question. And Sir Dave said, in what I can only really describe as a stage whisper, but you must be joking, Jack. You're talking about probably two and a half million pounds. Jack Warner nodded at that and sat back. He didn't say anything. He nodded at it but then said that the funds could be channelled through him and he would guarantee that they were appropriately spent. <laughs> Jack Warner got in touch with me and he said that the thing that, in his view, would lift the spirits of the people of Haiti was if they could see the World Cup. Football would lift people's spirits and what he needed was somebody to make the donation to buy the television rights so that large screens could be erected. Sometime later, it was put to me that he was actually the owner of those rights. The second example is from the 3rd of November 2009, when we met uh, Nicholas Leos uh, in Asuncion. And I was then told, through the translator, but directly after he had spoken, that he believed that a knighthood from the United Kingdom would be appropriate. And it was put to me that as a former Foreign Office Minister, I must know how these things are organised and could probably achieve it. The third example uh, was on the 14th of November in Qatar with Mr. Tashera, the representative of the uh, Brazilian Football Association. And this was a very much briefer encounter. I was really delighted by the express support that we'd received from President Lula for the chance to host the World Cup in 2018. Uh, Mr. Tashera said to me, Lula is nothing. You come and tell me what you have for me. We had a number of conversations with uh, Mr. Warui Makudi. He was eager to secure a match between the England team and the Thai uh, team. But the one thing that he did insist on was that one way or another, the TV rights to the broadcasts in the United Kingdom would go to him. And those four examples, Chairman, struck me as being way out of any of the understandings I had of what the Ethics Committee uh, of FIFA would expect or FIFA would expect.